podcast is back back again sundown podcast the experience <laughs> the road to sundown the podcast the experience tell a friend Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Road to Sundown, the podcast, the official podcast of Alaska's premier music festival. Music and arts festival. Don't forget the art. Music and arts festival. Mm -hmm. The podcast is only available on YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, hit that like button, give us a subscribe, ding the bell, and stay up to date uh, on all things sundown leading up to the festival. I'm DJ Gray, <laughs> one of your hosts, and I'm here with... Natalie, I'm your community outreach director with Showdown. Uh, but the, what do we just fall under the anything and everything marketing people? We are back, and we are going to look at some more of your comments from last week's episode. I've got some here. Last week, we gave away some merch tickets, or some merch tickets. Last week, we gave away a merch package. This week, we're going to give away a pair of tickets. That was like a big thing that we did for one of our giveaways is like a gift card to the merch tent. So maybe we'll do that again sometime here soon on the podcast. Yeah. Make sure you go say hi to Mac at the merch tent. He's a wonderful human and slangs our merch for us. Comment, engage. You may just win. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we are going to kick things off. Zeka commented and said, I can't wait to see what EDM artists you're bringing this year. I can't either. Well, not to see them, but to show you guys when the phase two announcement comes uh, on Friday. I mean, we've got one of the biggest, biggest DJs in the game already announced. Well, well we got to talk to him when he gets here, but he's played like uh, over a hundred countries. I mean, the man is all over the world. He did Antarctica this past year. Like, I think he's hit all seven continents with Antarctica. That's oh, that's oh, it. Oh, for sure. I think he's yeah. checked the list off. And Diplo is one of those artists that like sometimes it's crazy because he is a huge artist in his own right. But then when you list off mm -hmm. all the songs he's produced, it's crazy. You're like, who's he worked with? Oh, M.I.A., Usher, Beyonce, Madonna, e like every artist in the world. Yeah, I mean, look at his groups. I mean, even just Major Lazer and LSD in their own right are massive. He's a powerhouse. We, that's not to say we aren't bringing more EDM artists for Sundown this year. Like I said, Phase 2 is coming out this Friday, March 22nd. Stay tuned. It's um, it's going to have some names that I think a lot of people, from throwbacks to like current artists, I think you guys are going to be excited. Dat Kid Sean said, not going to lie, that igloo is a staple in the Alaska EDM scene. I feel like it's a rite of passage to be invited to play under the dome. And I would have to say so. The, and he listed okay. Sundown, Salmon Fest, Sacred Acre. I will say even going back to Spectrum. I will shout out uh, DJ P. Dot from Vegas. He played the igloo last time and he said one time for the igloo. <laughs> shout out to P. Dot. If you're in Vegas, go check him out. It's always nice to see the dome. I feel at home. I feel at home at the dome. Man, new merch idea. That's that's got to get Aww. in there. Seriously. I feel yeah, at home in the fun. dome. <laughs> Wade commented, I want to see the metal bands. We do too. And again, stay tuned because uh, I think Friday's announcement will have a couple heavier acts that I think everyone's going to be real excited oh, about. Yeah. We hear you. You can keep commenting um, that you want to hear more metal, but you know, we, we love those comments. We hear you. It's coming. We do. Uh, but speaking of heavier acts, uh, one of the comments that we got last week was uh, from Kristen the Burge. I hope I'm saying that right. She said, Sundown made one of my dreams come true last year. I was finally able to see Aww. Set It Off for the first time, and it was truly an amazing experience. I also got to discover different artists that I am now obsessed with, and I am so excited to go again this year. That's a great comment. That's just nice, because that's overall what we want from the festival. We want people to see their favorite acts, and then we also want them to discover new ones. Uh, you know, and I think what's so important about coming to the festival, and you know, you, you may be buying your ticket for one artist or two artists, but the point of a festival is to go see people you've never even heard of before and wander from stage to stage and maybe find a, a new favorite artist and somebody that you wouldn't expect to enjoy, but all of a sudden you're standing there shazamming them in the crowd going, I can't wait to play this 10 million times on my drive to work on Monday, you know, uh, and that's just what a festival is all about. Well, it just, it made me so happy to hear a comment like that. Uh, you know, that's what we do this for. And uh, that was, that was so sweet. The first Amity piece said, can't wait to go this year. Last year was such an amazing experience. It was, we can't wait to see you. 
we are going to pick a winner comment. And I think this week the winner is going to be Kristen the Burge. I second that. So sweet. You've warmed our hearts in this cold, icy winter. Uh, hard to do. Shout out to Kristen. You win two tickets to... Wait, that was a horrible drum. <laughs> can you get, can you hit me with some real drums or a, a sound off? Uh... Uh, <laughs> let's do, let's do the... <laughs> There you go. There you go. That kind of works. <laughs> this week, uh, we announced a show that's going to happen at Cuddy Park, The Road to Sundown, The Experience, Hippie Sabotage. <laughs> this is this is exciting. This was uh, something that we wanted to do to kick off the summer season, uh, the outdoor concert experience that we love bringing to all of you. We've really typically only done these on uh, F Street and 7th, so it's going to be really fun to take over a new street, 40th Ave. Um, if you go and check on the map, uh, as this probably popped up right now, you can see there's a cul-de-sac. The entrance to Cuddy Park this is where you guys all came into the festival last year, right? Where uh, we had the big Welcome to Sundown sign under the bridge. Uh, we're going to be setting up a huge block party there. Um, food, drinks, music, fun times, and uh, free parking at the, at the Lusac Library. They have uh, generously allowed us to use their parking lot. So it's going to be first come, first serve, and uh, you won't have to worry about parking. Uh, you can buy a ticket for your DD or get them Taco Bell on your way home, something like that. And, uh, you know, come enjoy and come hang out. Yeah, come hang out. It'll be great. <laughs> Hippie Sabotage, every time they've come up, has been sold out, has been a wild time. Um, so definitely get your tickets early um, and pregame sundown with us. It's It'll be just yeah. like, it'll be almost a perfect 30 days before the festival. So it's a good way to warm up, get yourself familiar with with raging in the sun and yeah come see come see the brothers they shred i think one of my favorite things about seeing hippie sabotage live is when they break out the guitars they have some insane riffs i mean they just go at it and it's like really beautifully composed production and then they'll just come and like absolutely destroy it in a positive way uh with some guitar riffs and and get at it and they and they also come and rage in the crowd i mean uh i saw them at this random music festival in uh like in ohio years ago i think in like 2012 and they like jumped in the crowd with people and it just got crazy and then they did it again at sundown and i'm like oh this is like they come hang they're not afraid of the crowd uh they could they come and bounce bounce around uh last week we cut it, cut. did a uh, shout out to our returning vendors and this week we are going to do a highlight on a new vendor um this year we are so excited to have Spinach bread, the spinach bread truck. I don't even Talkeetna spinach bread. Is that what it's called? Talkeetna spinach bread. Yes, the um, best bread in Alaska, frankly. That ooey gooey, cheesy deliciousness uh, that you love so much that, frankly, I don't think you could normally get in Anchorage. You got to venture outside of Anchorage for this one. Um, I've seen them at Salmon Fest, I've seen them in Talkeetna. Um, you know, I've seen them outside of the municipality of Anchorage. Um, but we're doing you a solid and we're bringing it close to home and you can go get that delicious spinachy, garlicky, gooey bread right at Thunder. Yes. Uh, I, for one, am super so excited. excited. I, I think know this is a huge announcement. Yeah, uh, it is massive. I, I think we've joked, we've joked about it. <laughs> we've joked about it internally that they should just have a stage. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, I don't think that's too far from the truth. Uh, I think wherever they're going to be at in the festival is going to be packed. Um, and they're going to be there all weekend. So it's, I'm, I'm super excited, very grateful that they're going to be on board. We may have to like put them on the map legitimately. Like this is where you go to get your bread uh we'll we'll see actually speaking of speaking of math didn't we get a, a an faq we did we did so actually here we go yeah what the fact what the what the fact, what the fact? Uh, so it came from uh, someone on youtube kyle comeback uh he commented he said are there any maps available um, like a visualization would be very helpful and yes so last year we did do a map um now we're hesitant to sh just reshare that map because the festival ground is going under is undergoing some changes so there's going to be things different um it's not going to be exactly the same as last year and 
while we would like to finalize it and put it out as soon as we can, we do have to wait until we're actually on the grounds and make sure that we can level everything out. So there's a lot of things that need to be changed. But yes, there will be a map, absolutely, uh, before you get to the festival so that you can kind of plan your festival day, figure out exactly where you want to go, how you want to map out your time at the festival. Um, so yes, don't worry, there will be a map that will be available and it should be available. Usually we do it about two weeks before the festival. Um, and you'll actually get to see where everything's at. We'll email that out to you. We also post it all over our socials. Um, so we'll, as soon as there's a map, we'll be very loud about it. Um, you know, it's, it's something that we were eager to share with you guys. Um, but like we said, we just got to see how things thaw out and uh, figure out where we can put stuff and make sure everything's nice and safe and secure and, and where it's at because... You know, nobody wants a map. He also asked, also, what are the different tiers? What's the next price jump? How many tickets are left for tier two? So uh, we are, again, we are announcing phase two on March 22nd, this Friday. Um, it's not the rest of the lineup, but it is a, a large portion of the lineup. It's going to be some huge artists. Tier two tickets, we still have some available. There's a certain allotment of them. Um, not sure exactly how many are left, but again, I would just say, buy your tickets as soon as you can to save money. Um, I will say the next price jump, I believe is... But it's, it's after we release lineup two. I mean, it is allotment based. So, um, you know, if, if they if they go fast, they're gone. They're wearing the next tier. Um, but just, just remember, tiers are based on ticket allotment. It's not, there's no um, actual perk difference between your tickets. Uh, if you missed that in episode one, we went over that in detail. So you can run it back and go check out that episode. Uh, Grant can link that right here. Uh, but yeah, just make sure that you know you you buy early, you save money. Uh, it's, so you'll get the same experience uh, with tier tier one GA as you will tier four. But uh, you will have saved uh, a significant portion of of your money that you can then spend on spinach bread. Okay, so we are on. I'm gonna I'll throw this up in the uh, on the screen. But so the different ticket types that we have currently, we're on tier two. So tier two currently for G three day GA is 179. When it goes up to tier three, it's going to be $199. Um, so about a $20 difference, not that crazy. But again, if you're already thinking of going, I would suggest saving the money and buying your ticket early. Um, we do still also have our payment plans available. So if you need, uh, if you can't purchase the whole ticket right away, don't forget you can use a payment plan, break it up over the next couple months um, and so that you're fully paid up by the time the festival gets there. All right, shout out to our sponsor, BMW of Anchorage. They are so sweet and do uh, such good in our community. And we love to support those who are uh, supporting us. I just wanted to uh, highlight something. I went to a Wolverines game this weekend. Uh, I was uh, hanging out, watching the Anchorage Wolverines, who uh, we, we love them. They're doing, they're winning the league too. Shout out to the Anchorage Wolverines. But um, I saw this poster that you're probably now looking at. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, uh, a raffle called Do Good, Win Big. Uh, and they're doing this raffle with the Special Olympics. Uh, with a brand new 2024 BMW 330xi, uh, and you can buy a raffle ticket for that. Um, we'll have uh, have the link up, um, and you can email uh, Chris Barraza, um, and he will get you a raffle ticket for that. Um, and I just wanted to highlight that because uh, BMW Anchorage is so awesome. They don't just sponsor us; they sponsor a lot of great community events, uh, and so that's one of the things that makes them so awesome. And hey, uh, support Special Olympics, and maybe be driving in a new whip, brand new whip. So I, I bought a few tickets myself, and uh, so looking forward to rolling up to Sundown in my brand new BMW. Um, but you know, try your try your luck at it too, and uh, get a ticket and uh, support the Wolverine Special Olympics. Uh, anyways, BMW Anchorage, we love you. If you're watching us on YouTube and you've stuck around this long, please hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and ding that bell, and we will see you uh, next week. Don't forget mm -hmm. to leave a comment. Leave some comments. You could win some merch. You could win some tickets to some events. Make sure that you leave a comment and engage with us. We want to hear questions, burning questions. Give us your best sundown story, and we'll see you at sundown. Well, that's a wrap.